Hey guys, Portia here, and today I'm going to be dyeing this Stanley Tumbler. This is the 30 ounce in frost, and we're going to keep it real simple and straightforward, and hopefully we get a color that we actually like. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, so here we are at the stove. We're going to use the stove top method, and we are going to use the synthetic Rit dye. I have this in royal purple. Now, don't make the mistake, guys, because I did. I used the regular Rit, Rit dye at first, and it did not penetrate the surface of the synthetic material that we were trying to dye, i.e., the Stanley Cup. So make sure that you get the synthetic um, Rit dye. And what you're going to do is pretty much follow the instructions. You want to make sure that you have a vessel big enough to submerge all the items that you are trying to dye. You want to make sure that the water is at least 200 degrees. And so we're boiling right here. I'm shaking it really well, the dye. And we are going to, if I can get this off, just go ahead. And I'm going to use the whole um, thing right here. I'm going to pour it in. And we're going to stir. And I'm using a stainless steel pot as well as spoon. And these things won't be used anymore for like food. And guys, once we do actually complete the project, I am gonna rinse with cold water and then uh, clean very well with a solution of bleach and um, dish detergent. All right, so. What we're gonna do from here is just turn this down to more like a simmer, but we do wanna keep the pot going. So I turned it down, not to simmer, more so to medium. And I wanna make sure that the water and the dye are combined really well, so. And so I have deconstructed my Stanley Cup. So we have the handle here the top, the top cover, so to speak. Um, and then of course the cup itself. So I wanna start with the smaller parts. And I have my tongues here. Let's start with the cover. And I'm gonna just drop this in here. I actually could just, let's try just dropping it in there, y'all. I ain't got no patience. So it could take between 10 to, um, what, 10 to 30 minutes to completely dye to our desired color, but you definitely want to check on the parts just to make sure that they're going the way you like. And as you can see, we're already getting some good shade of purple in there. Now, Stanley does have, you know, a few different shades of purple, but not quite the one that I like or was looking for. So I said, hey, why not, right? Let's go ahead and try it ourselves. Look at that, y'all. That is nice and vibrant. I am feeling that. I forgot the straw, guys. So let's throw that in there. I'm gonna wanna swirl that around. Turn it over. Swirl that around. Keep it all moving. All right, guys, so far so good. This looks really good. Check out our handle. I didn't know what to expect with this little, um, I guess this is a silicone or rubber part there, so I didn't know if we would be able to get it, but it looks like it's going really well. And I think I wanna go ahead and fish out the top because it didn't take too long for the top to die at all, y'all. So let me find it. Oh guys, look at that, OMG. I am loving that. Yeah, that looks good. I think I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and pull this out. 
Ooh, such a nice deep purple. So again, make sure you get that synthetic so that it can penetrate the surface, guys. That looks good. Let's turn that over. Let's see with the handle. Let's work it a little bit more. See how we getting real a good color purple right in there and right there. And then let's check out the cover there. So what I'm thinking is these two, the handle and the um, cover here isn't going to be as light more. So like, I'm sorry, it's dark, more like a lilac. But that works. That's fine for me. I, no complaints here. And the, the straw, guys, I think that we should call this one a day. Go ahead and make sure so let me go ahead and take this out I'm gonna set it aside guys the purple is so vibrant so strong all right Let's see I think we're gonna be done with these and be satisfied with the more of a lilac look which pretty much is all in the same color family and I think it's still gonna work well together so I'm not complaining all right I'm gonna give it a couple of more seconds and then we'll move on to actually putting the cup in there. All right, guys, I think I'm satisfied. I did put the top back in um, to achieve just a little bit of a deeper purple. So I did throw that back in, but I am ready to take the handle and the um, cover, the sip spout cover out. So let's grab those. Here's our spout cover. I'm loving it. Guys, I think this is gonna be really nice. So what I'm doing off camera is actually throwing them aside in a bath of cold water. All right, that looks good. Okay guys, so our masterpiece of whether the center of attention is time. So go ahead and drop it in. Once again, like I said at the top of the video, make sure that you can fully submerge the item in the dye bath without problem. All right, so we're gonna let that actually go for a little while. Not quite sure how long it'll take, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Okay guys, so we've been in there for about two minutes and we are already at a nice vibrant purple. I think I want to go a little bit deeper, so let's submerge again. Alright guys, check her out. Um, I think we have achieved a really nice tone here. So what I'm going to do next guys is just go ahead and thoroughly wash this. I'm going to dunk it in the cold water bath first, then I'm going to thoroughly wash it. And then when we come back together, you'll see what the finished product looks like when I reconstruct our uh, dyed Stanley cup. Okay guys, here is all of our dyed pieces. And I just thought about it before I assemble, I wanna show you each piece outside of the water. So of course, this is the star of it all. And this little Stanley logo used to be like a gray color um, with the frost white, but now it is a nice purple. And then the body of it is a nice, shiny, royal purple. And I am loving how it came out. So we have a deep purple for the top and I like the clear, how it, um, not the clear, the um, matte white, so to speak or whatever. I like how the dye took to the top. We got our straw here. And you guys didn't see me throw it in, but like a kid in a candy store, I'm like, what else? So I, I threw this in the pot. It is um, a tumbler boot, of course, and it used to be white. So I brought a two pack off of Amazon. It was bright white. I left it in the dye and it got pretty dark. Um, so as you can tell, I'm going for a monochromatic look. Also, I threw in a straw topper. This used to be pink. I'll show you the original one right here. So I think this was like a pack of four. And I just threw it in just to see. And we have this beautiful purple now. Let's see what else. That's pretty much it. Um, of course, this goes on top of the um, cap. And then we have the handle and the 
I guess the cover of the lid, the lid cover. I don't know what to call this piece, y'all. So, but y'all know what it is. Anywho, these definitely took a little bit longer. I think last time you guys saw it, they were like a periwinkle, and I wanted something deeper. So these were in there a lot longer. It didn't take but a approximately two minutes for this to die um, this was less than five this was about two minutes so guys just pay attention to your dye bath solution um, depending upon how deep you want to go certain things absorb the dye a lot quicker than others like I said these two took the longest maybe about a little over 30 minutes or so just to achieve this color I don't know how deep it was gonna go because I ran out of patience anywho let's go ahead and assemble. Here we go fully assembled i am loving the look like i mentioned the possibilities are endless as far as colorways just a couple of tips make sure you watch um, your dye bath some things take longer to dye than others as i just explained so you want to make sure you watch it um, you can mix up the combination of colors if you want to just do a totally like um, color blocked so to speak look um, whatever you want and I was really surprised at how well that the dye took to the silicone even after washing it did not you know fade or anything like that so yeah guys, this is all I have for you today. I just want to share with you all how I turn the Stanley Cup in frost color to a nice, rich, deep purple. If you have any questions or concerns or emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful, just plain old entertaining, could you give it a thumbs up? But guys, as always, until next time, peace. <laughs>